we are on the Concord. I'm going to see if we're going to go pan across the Concord there, and that house is straight in the water. Right on the Concord River, right off our hillside. North Berwicka. And the fact is, is that the I don't know if you can tell which way the water is flowing, but the water is actually flowing north. So this is actually the shallower end, which hasn't crested and is going to be deeper. This poor guy across the way here, his house is totally underwater. Actually, yeah, we can see the water flowing. This. So this side is just waiting to get more water. This guy went up and put up some sandbags and stuff. Down in his yard. The water is flowing right in. Okay, we're pulling in the Stelios parking lot. This was totally underwater before the last storm. And uh, it's getting there. Right now the water's only uh, probably a couple of inches. But this is on the other side of the, the Concord River that I was just showing you guys. I love the picture. And we're gonna get out and show you guys a couple of This is on the other side. As you can see here, this guy's got a Chevy van. Right up. Covered. And we're on the north side. This is a little further north than we were a few minutes ago. This is a, where they're rebuilding the bridge, which goes over the 3A. is all I mean this water level those usually you can get I don't even see that bridge right there but you can usually get a boat under that with no problem standing up and they're high enough now that you can't even get the boat under there never mind standing up usually that's probably about six seven feet lower so this water like we say is flowing from this side heading up. It's pretty deep, so we're going to take a ride down the other end and see how she's doing down the other end.